Hello everyone, thank you for joining me and Happy New Year! My name is Eugen and I decided to start this year by having some fun with an interesting fountain pen, the uh, 22 Studio Seam Fountain Pen. I discovered this pen on one of my random searches late at night on AliExpress on um, SD Pen PPS store. The shape of the pen and its design from the pictures caught my eye and uh, then the name it was advertised as, uh, well, let's just say it intrigued me, named uh, BJ Fountain Pen. I had no idea of the actual brand name at the time of purchasing it, since it was never advertised, but the fact that it had a Schmidt nib attached sold me out almost instantly. So I made a purchase and spent around 57 uh, Canadian dollars with free shipping. When I received the pen, I was extremely surprised and confused to find that this is a 22 Studio fountain pen. I thought that maybe this was some sort of a fake branded pen, since uh, the only thing that I knew of the 22 Studio is that they make pens and some other things like watches that are uh, made of or with concrete. But after a little bit of search, I finally discovered this fountain pen on their site under the Seam name. Quite fitting based on its uh, design, I would say. And uh, the shock was that their prices are way higher than what I paid for. So uh, that made me feel good for nailing a great score on a nice pen. The pen has a pretty cool in industrial look uh, design to it, modern industrial uh, design. It's a pretty much straight aluminum tube uh, with a step down where you actually uh, post uh, the pen and an o-ring at the end. And the only features that he has are the seams or grooves that are cut in the aluminum uh, metal and the clip, which is actually quite nice. I like it. And uh, it's actually a very generous uh, spring. You can fit it over a lot of type of pockets. And uh, spring action works very nice. I like it. Doing my usual uh, shirt test, the pen slides in fairly easy. Not a lot of uh, drama in there. And once it's in your pocket, this is how much you see out of your shirt. And he actually holds it pretty well and removing it very easy like i said not a lot of drama uh, the end of uh, the clip has uh, this i wouldn't know what to call it uh, protrusion that slides over the shirt or the material that i'm using very easy the other additional feature that the cap has, it has the brand name uh, printed at the top, which is uh, 22 Studio. And the top finial has uh, seams or grooves at the top as well. The cap, it's a pull push cap and actually works very well. And it has a very nice satisfying click. And uh, it feels like after it's uh, passing a certain point, it's like the cap, it's actually absorbed into the pen. It's, it's an interesting feeling. And once you remove uh, the cap, it will be greeted by, I don't think I would call that a section. It doesn't, I mean, it's too short to be a section. And then a number five Schmidt nib, which as mentioned, it's one of my, uh, favorites uh, nibs with its uh, default uh, feed and uh, the nib that I got it's um, so, well silver like color and it's a uh, fine hard to see in this light uh, the cap it's fairly short uh, so not a lot of trouble in there and as you can see from the underscore video um, doesn't have a lot of features inside I'm not 100% sure how it comes apart. Hopefully I will never have to take it apart. As mentioned, uh, this part, uh, I wouldn't really call it a section. There's no way you can actually put your fingers on it and hold on to it. 
I see this more as of a knob that you hold on in order to remove the, the barrel. Since this pen is more of a pocket sized fountain pen, um, it's actually fairly short in hand. Um, I think I might be okay to get away with it for quick notes uh, on a rush. However, most probably it will be very uncomfortable for longer sessions. And as is, the pen is actually very well balanced. It's pretty much uh, bang on the middle. However, the good thing is that this pen posts and it posts very nicely and securely. And once posted, this pen is actually a very good size. I like it. And no matter what position you hold it, this pen seems to be actually very comfortable and perfect sized. But like I mentioned, the barrel is your section. The barrel is fairly grippy. I don't have any issues with it. Most probably it won't slip out of my hands. So I'm not too concerned with that. To remove the barrel, and maybe that's kind of annoying, especially if your nib is full of ink, you actually have to grab that little knob in there. But again, the problem is if you have bigger fingers like me, it's almost impossible to not touch the nib. So this is one of the pens that will always get ink on you no matter what you want, unless you're wearing gloves. To remove uh, the barrel, it's actually fairly, fairly quick. Not a lot of turns and fairly easy. And as you open it, you'll see you have another O-ring that holds the barrel down, the threads, a fairly lengthy um, collar for uh, the um, converter and a mini converter that it's included with uh, the pen, which I actually like. Obviously you don't have to use it, but I really like these uh, converters to be honest. And again, this converter has an agitator inside that I usually remove in order to gain one more drop of ink. And this way, this can go all the way down. And the barrel inside, as you can see from the endoscope video, it's actually pretty nice and smooth, nothing out of the ordinary. And you do have metal threads uh, color, I believe that is brass by the color of it. That will match up quite nicely with the threads on your section. And this is the fountain pen in a nutshell. Uh, quite cute, I would, uh, I would say. Um, I really love the design it has and um, I like the weight it has. It looks small, but it actually, it's quite, it feels beefy, as they would say. And I'm actually excited to use it. So let me go through the inking process and I will uh, do a writing sample and then we jump into a drawing. For today's drawing, I wanted to go back uh, and use this uh, ink, the Monte Monteverde Black Ash ink. As usual, remove your cap, remove your barrel, open your bottle. And this thing is going to get ink on me for sure. And this is, this is a plunger style pay, uh, converter, put the plunger down, put the pen in the ink and especially with this one, make sure you don't go too deep. You don't want to get the e, the threads inside the section um, inky, go halfway up, go all the way down and then go all the way up. The converter gets a pretty good um, feel. Still a little bit of an air gap in there. And before putting the barrel uh, on, um, first clean the section. Uh, it looks like with this ink, the bar, the section does get a little bit stained. So I'll have to use a little bit of uh, water to, to clean it afterwards and put the barrel back on. And somehow I managed to get ink on me, obviously. And then you're good to go. Doing a quick writing sample, I have cleaned the section with a little bit of a wet paper towel and it cleaned actually really nicely. So this is 22 
Studio. Sim. On the band. Looks like he has a little bit of flow issues. Not sure why. All right, let's see. So it looks like this Neem has a little bit of uh, flow issues. Uh, sometimes on the downstroke, it seems to be a little bit light. I might have to actually smooth out the Neem a little bit and uh, maybe floss it. But I mean, the ink flows is just um, a little bit weird. And you can get a little bit of line variation out of this nib. Oops. And as you can hear, this nib is actually quite chatty. Sounds a lot like a pencil. Which doesn't bother me. But yeah, I think I definitely need to smooth out this nib. So far, so good. Uh, I guess off screen, I'm going to be uh, cleaning up the nib a little bit, do a little bit of flossing, a little bit of smoothing, and then um, I'm going to come back and go into the drawing. So I'll see you there and I'll let you know what I think of this fountain pen. It looks like I am starting the year with a little bit of a dud. Not sure what I was trying to do. Um, started with some circles, then some lines, and uh, well, I got stuck on the lines. <laughs> Tried to bring in some color at the end to maybe, um, I don't know, brighten it up a little bit and bring some interest. I guess it's okay in the end, kind of like it. It was definitely relaxing while I was drawing it, um, but it doesn't really mean anything, or at least I'm not able to see it. But I guess that's okay, right? Not everything has to mean anything. As for the pen, it turned out that the nib on the fountain pen was a little bit misaligned, and that is why I was having some issues with um, consistent lines. A little bit of work, a little bit of smoothing, and a little bit of flossing, and the nib was back up and working like a champ. Not sure what happened to it. Was it factory defect or something happened to it during the assembly of the pen? No idea. But what matters now that, well, all is good. So what do I like about the Seam fountain pen? I do like the fact that this fountain pen is more of a pocket fountain pen, so it's very easy to carry around portable and it will fit in a lot of pockets. I think it's perfect for what it is, and um, I really like the modern industrial design vibes that it gives. I really like the weight, how it posts, and how it feels in my hand. It ticks a lot of uh, like boxes for me. And obviously I love the knee it comes with, even though it had some issue and it needed a little bit of uh, love. I mean, I do like uh, Schmidt knees. They are one of my favorites, so I guess that will be my disclaimer in there. Oh, uh, I also love the fact that uh, a converter is included, even though it's on the smaller side of things. And I guess lastly, I like the price that I pay for it. I honestly think that uh, 57 Canadian dollars it's a fair price for this pen. What I don't like about the Seam Fountain Pen, there are a few things uh, that I think uh, on this pen could have been better, and I think uh, some things that maybe a lot of people might not be that happy with it. First thing that comes to mind is that it's quite small if you do not like posting your pens. While you could maybe make it work in a bind, um, this pen is really designed to be posted. And once posted, I find it uh, to be a perfect size. Second thing, and this could uh, be a bigger and more uh, annoying issue for a lot of people, this pen doesn't really have a section. 
is more like a knob to unscrew the nib from the barrel. This pretty much means that uh, your fingers will always be in a very close proximity to a wet inked nib every time you need to refill or change your cartridge. And uh, if you have uh, meatier fingers like I do, it's 100% guarantee that you will stain your fingers with whatever ink in, you have in the pen. Now, I know for us fountain pen lovers, getting inked is normal, but doing it on purpose feels a little bit wrong. Third thing that I can think of, and maybe this is more of a nitpicking, uh, there is no mechanism designed uh, into the cap or the barrel to help you align the seams on the cap and barrel. If you get bothered by things that are not aligned, it might be annoying to always fidget with the cap to get it in perfect alignment with the barrel. The other thing that comes to mind is, well, the actual price that I've seen it being sold at on the 22 Studio website. I have to admit that if I uh, would have found this pen on their site first, I would have not bought it. Maybe a tad expensive for what it is at uh, 100 US dollars. And finally, my copy had a misaligned nib that needed some attention. Easy to fix, but if someone is not comfortable with doing this, it could be a major concern. The good thing is that it can be replaced for another nib unit if needed, but that will be an extra cost. Overall, I like the fountain pen and I am happy to have discovered it and scored it at the price I did. I think that uh, for what it is, it is worth the money I paid for. If it's worth it for you, well, I leave that decision up to you. Based on what you have seen, well, only you can know what is good for you or not. And with that said, uh, this is pretty much all I have to say about this interesting fountain pen. If I have missed anything or you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will try and get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for joining me today and I hope I will be enjoying your company next time as well. Wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Take care. Bye.